Hello everybody, this is a requested video today. I had somebody um, email me, uh, put a comment on the CMath Run page um, to see if there's any way to graph the um, a 3x3 matrix, but not the 3x3 matrix, but the determinant of a 3x3. More specifically, if it's an algebraic um, solution to it. So they were saying something like y to the third plus 5y squared you know, minus 7y plus 2, or something like that. The uh, good news is you can do it, in term, you can graph in terms of y. The calculator will not find the solution to that matrix determinant algebraically. You can do it numerically. Algebraically, it can't handle it because it does not have a computer algebra system. I'm still hoping that they will come out with a computer algebra system. I have called an email there, um, representative in charge of the education department and has she's been very receptive to the idea so hopefully that means they're working on it and they can't say anything but uh, we will see if it one comes available uh, you know I will be doing some videos on that but to answer that person's question uh, the answer is yes you can graph in terms of something other than X uh, most calculators you can just turn graph in terms of X so y in terms of x, y equals something. It gets kind of clumsy to try to do graphing in other other forms. Um, the Casios, you can graph in terms of y. Uh, you can do polars on the same screen. You can do parametrics on the same screen. You can do conic sections that look like conic sections without having to uh, really solve equations and change the way the equation is and get really technical on how you take the square root of one side and plus or minus all that stuff so they have made it quite user friendly so that's what we'll be exploring today after that long explanation so I'm gonna go in uh, if you just notice I uploaded two videos so I was just doing a video on um, comparing graphs with um, an 83 so let me delete this function out of there so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to graph a different type of graph. So you notice there's a type soft key right here. That's right underneath the F3. So when I press F3, I get to choose the type of graph that I want. I got a Y equals, so I can graph Y in terms of X. And now this isn't just Y equals a number. I can actually make this a, a function in terms of X. I can do functions in terms of R and theta, parametric, we got the good old-fashioned x equals. So those x equals ones, are again, not just x equals a number. It's going to be x equals in terms of y. The y's are a regular one. But I've got more. I can do inequalities, normal inequalities, less than, less than, or equal to. You notice they will show up as the less than or equal to. The shading is automatic. I don't have to tell the calculator to shade. So let me say I just put in um, x squared. So notice I didn't have to tell the calculator to shade. I did not have to tell the calculator to change the type of um, line it was. It was a solid line because it's an equal to situation. So uh, let me say I wanted to convert that. Let me do want to change that. I don't want to necessarily erase the whole thing and have to do a whole retyping, especially if I've got long equations. This one's not that long. So Cassie will put in a convert. What the convert allows me to do is say, you know what, I want to do a greater than equation instead of a greater than or equal to. So I don't have to erase the whole thing and forget it or I have to write it down or anything like that. So there I just changed it. Again, I didn't have to do anything else. Don't have to tell it if I'm shading above or below the line. Is the line solid? Is it dotted? Calculator knows if it's a greater than, it's going to be dotted. Greater than or equal to it will be solid. So that wasn't exactly what the person wanted to know about, but just took a little detour so let's go back type let's keep going we have inequalities in terms of X as well great great feature so let's change this in terms of X notice I had a function there in uh, the first Y1 that it, it did not replace because it was selected and it was active so it doesn't want to get rid of that one unless I say you know what get rid of that now we'll change it to X equals so the person wanted to know you know can I graph something like y raised to the third power minus, let me get out of the exponent there, minus 
y squared. Now you notice I'm pressing the x theta t, that's my variable key. The variable that shows up will be the variable that corresponds to what you're graphing. I'm trying to graph in terms of x in terms of y. Um, let's go with a plus 3y and then we'll go minus 4. So just to give you an idea, this is uh, what the function is going to look like. We'll press execute. Again, not something you can do with most calculators. I'll just go ahead and hit draw. And there it is. There's my function in terms of y. Uh, the one downside that um, it will not do is I can't use the gsolve key. So it, it has, we've not been able to do the gsolve with functions that are not our regular functions. Again, that's a feature that I've actually emailed them about. And they're actually talking to their programmers. So they're very responsive over at Casio. You give them a call, you send them an email. It's amazing. Um, they'll even contact you back sometimes and uh, ask you for clarification. Usually within a couple hours. It's amazing. So let's uh, do a different equation. Same idea. Raise to the second power. Get out of the exponent. Again, the powers are, are highlighted or up higher, which I just I can't tell you how much I love that. So now I'm going to graph two functions, both of them x in terms of y. Notice how that graphs them very nicely. Uh, the screen is a little smushed here because I've got a standard window. So if I change my view window to the initial window, things won't be distorted the way they normally are in a standard 10 by 10 window. So there they are. Again, I cannot find the intersection there. I wish I could. I wish I could just say find the intersection. It doesn't work that way. But let's say I wanted to graph something else, and I don't want it to be an x equals equation this time. I want to go to a y equals equation. You notice I typed the y equals and the x's disappeared. They actually did not disappear. They just moved up. Calculated does not want to confuse me. So it just is going to push those ones up out of the way so I don't have to look at them. y equals x. This one's going to be in green. So I'll have a blue function, red function, and a green function. Very useful also for finding uh, inverses. So if you're looking for the inverse of a function, great place to do it in is in the uh, y equals or x equals screen and look at one versus the other. We'll do one more just because I've got, well actually we'll do two more because i got two different colors. Let's change the type again. We'll do an r and we'll do r equals theta. And we'll change the type one more time. We'll do a parametric, just to show you that it will do a parametric. T and T. Not really sure what I'm going to get, but that's okay. Again, those other functions are still there. They've just been moved up. Let's scroll up. Notice they're all still selected, so I'm going to have a blue graph, red, green, pink, or fuchsia, and a regular black graph. So let me see what this thing turns out to look like. Nice little art project. Uh, you can zoom out with a minus key. You can zoom in with a plus key. You can shift right with the right arrow. You can shift left with the left arrow. Shift down with the down arrow. Shift up with the up arrow. So there you have it. Uh, that's the type of function that you want to look at. Again, if you hit type, you can select which type of graph you want to look at. We've been looking at x equals. We've looked, touched a little on the r and parametric. I'll do more videos on that later. You can also do inequalities. Again, I wanted to change the type. I want to convert that first one. I want to convert it to Hey, look at that, x inequalities. Let's do uh, x is less than or equal to. So I'll just change that first one. Notice, dotted line, shading, it's got everything I need. So that's how you use um, the type feature in the main menu, under graph, 
go into graph, look at the different type of graph you can do, type in till your heart's content. So to answer the question, yes, you can do parametrics, or not parametrics, determinants that are algebraic. It can graph them. You have to do it in the graph menu. You have to change the type if it's not the type you like. Uh, give that a try. Check out the other video. I'm starting to do some comparison videos. How do you do this on the Casio versus uh, something like the TI? And uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Again, keep the requests coming. I do do requests. So uh, just give it a whirl. Ask me a question. If I can't answer it, or if I can, I'll make a video. If I can't, I'll just let you know that it's not possible and why I think it's not possible. And if it ever turns out that Casio makes a CAS version of this calculator, besides the class pad, then, uh, you know, we'll put it up. Thanks. Take care.